morning guys um i don't have i haven't brushed my hair or anything i just rolled out of bed um and today we're doing gonna do a follow me around in the life vlog thing um today i have my second ob appointment uh which will be exciting hopefully we'll get to see another ultrasound today i don't know um but yeah i've just woken up and have to get to work in about half an hour or leave for work in about half an hour um these are my vitamins i I'm a child and I enjoy the gummies because they're like one thing that just it is more enjoyable than it could otherwise be and you know it's a little bit more expensive but not that bad and they taste delicious so that's how I do things. They look like this and I have to take six of them every morning and they taste like lemonade so that's nice. Uh, yeah I'm gonna get dressed and like do my hair and maybe even put on some mascara just for you um, and for the doctor. Anyway, this morning I learned that you can be too sleepy to notice that you have the wrong pair of glasses on. Um, I just grabbed the ones closest to me, which for some reason were la my last pair of glasses. Anyway, um, I'm all set to go and uh, ready to, well I have to put shoes on. That's a good thing. Um, it only takes me about 10 minutes to drive to work, so it's really nice living this close. Unfortunately, the house we're buying is also just as close, so um... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you work, that's not interesting, but we'll pick up again when I'm on my way to the appointment. Alright, successful morning I think. Um, it was good, like the last half of last week kind of led up on new things coming in, so I was able to get caught up a little bit before the end of the week, which meant that, uh, you know, come Monday, there wasn't like a pile of stuff already for me to do. So I've uh, plugged away at some of today's tasks. And you know, still have some things to do in the afternoon, but that's all good. And I am now on my way to our appointment. So, um, yeah, I haven't peed since this morning, so hopefully I will be able to give a urine sample. Um, it might be kind of, uh, what's it? <laughs> TMI, probably. But yeah, I had a cup of coffee this morning. I had my one cup of coffee per day in the morning. Um, I've got here my folder that has all of the paperwork and stuff that we're collecting. I figured uh, that was like the first thing, my first pregnancy purchase was a folder to hold all the documentation in because that is the kind of person I am and if you've been watching my YouTube channel for any period of time, you probably know that. Anyway, um, I'm very grateful that I have this uh, vent mount phone uh, thing to hold my phone in the car because uh, yeah, I don't want to be dangerous and use my camcorder while I'm driving. Don't worry mom, I'm taking good care of myself. And uh, yeah, just off to the appointment. Already hungry for lunch. I'm going to have to decide where I'm going to go grab some food after the appointment before uh, I head back to the office. I cut like the tightest possible spot here in the lot. Fortunately, I'm still skinny and can make it out of here. There uh, are a lot of people and also positions don't park well. Um, there's some spots over at the end there that are for expectant mothers. Oh, look, perfect. Uh, there's some spots over there for expectant mothers, but they're all taken and I'm still perfectly capable of walking, so. It's not too far. Ha! You thought you'd catch me with my pants down? No. Um, yeah, I didn't film inside the doctor's office because, uh, you know, HIPAA and stuff. Um, I would show you a sneak peek of the ultrasound pictures, uh, but my husband took those home with him. Um, I'm going to grab some food and then head back to work. I have been, um, well, so I can like manufacture a craving basically by like, if I decide what I want to eat early enough and then I just keep sort of keeping that in the back of my mind and ruminating and thinking about that food, uh, then I get very excited for it and very, uh, start to crave it, you know? So I'm on my way to In-N-Out Burger to get an In-N-Out Burger. Oh yeah, it's going to hit the spot with nice cold Coke. Hi, how are you? Hello, pretty good. Good, good. How can I have you? Can I get a uh, cheeseburger combo, no onions with the Coke? 
Would you like this for the card today? Uh, no thanks. You got it to go. So we have a cheeseburger, no onions, one fry to cook to go. Yep. One of the things I love about in and out you know, besides like the you know, fresh ingredients and all the never frozen beef and all that blah blah blah, um, is that they don't make you feel like, uh, like bad about not liking onions. It's just, you know, a 50-50 option. And if you don't want them, then it's like, no onions? Okay. They like, they ask you if you want onions and then you say no, it's the best. Living life as a person who just does not like onions can sometimes be tricky, but not in and out. Plus they have the best fries. So I lost a couple clips here. Um, I elaborated on my way home from work that uh, I needed to stop home really quick, feed the dog, and grab the instructions uh, that we needed to wire money from our bank because I had to get to the bank before it closed. And then I had to stop at FedEx to drop off a package from work that I hadn't scheduled a pickup in time for. So um, that all happened. Uh, it gets dark basically by the time we get home. So it was all very dark and whatever. Um, and I, I, you know, had some nice clips of me going into the bank and coming out again, going into the FedEx place. Um, or at least I thought I did. It would have been very artsy, but instead you get just to listen to me rambling over a screenshot. So yeah. So everything went well with the bank and FedEx and now I'm back home. I have to do a couple more wire transfers with our online banks because you know how that goes. And then um, I'm going to spend some time this evening oh, the lighting's all wrong. <laughs> Editing my Sims video that goes up on Tuesday. That's tomorrow, so it has to go up, uh, be online and uploaded by tonight so that it'll be ready to go in the morning. So that's how that works. And sorry, all the lighting. This is not a professional video today. It's been, uh, well, so far so good. I'll check in again before the end of the night. I almost forgot I was going to show you a sneak peek at these ultrasound pictures. Uh, here we go, healthy heartbeat. You can see head and toes this way. These last two are the good ones. You can see a little arm here and a leg here. So cute! Sorry, I'm just very excited. Um, yeah, people who know me in person can see better versions of these on my Facebook page coming up. But uh... And let's not forget that this is a planner channel. Um, I have not actually opened up my notebook uh, at all today. I planned out everything yesterday. I set up this page here. Um, this page is last week's to-do list and this page is this week's to-do list. So I kind of had in mind like the things I wanted to get done today, but I've kind of forgotten. So let's take a look down here. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, no. Not yet. That I'm going to be working on. There we go, filming this video. Um, done some of that. I need to work on a knitting project. I've done the wire transfers and I still need to try to sign up for utilities because that's coming up as well. So yeah, I did okay. <laughs> still a few things on my to-do list for this evening. Uh, and I do have to fill out my trackers. The Bra tracker that tracks the bra I'm wearing here on the 11th. I'm Jix. Oops, just had to check there. there that one. And then this is my habit tracker. Basically what I've been doing is I write down the things I do here on the sticky note and then whenever I get around to it I fill in the colors and I erase this and start over. Um, so currently this is like as of less as of yesterday I think. Um, and I don't think I've done any of these things so far yet today, so we'll worry about that later. And yeah, just check it in and uh, off to do some more productive stuff before the evening is up. Pretty successful evening. Um, got most of the stuff checked off, signed up for utilities, got, you know, wire transfers done and stuff. Like, boring adult tasks that, uh, those are the ones that, like, they can take the most sort of emotional effort. Like making phone calls is not fun. I don't know who enjoys it. Maybe the kind of people who are good at sales jobs, but not me. Um, but like when you get those big tasks done, it feels really successful. Like, look at me, I'm adulting. Um, so that's cool. Um, 
we're gonna take hopefully Esco's closing on Wednesday but um, the electric cup and plumbing couldn't get hooked up until um, until the following Monday so we're gonna have like a weekend with no uh, electricity but it's probably fine because we're not really planning on living there for a couple weeks it's probably until uh, after the new year we'll just be moving our stuff in kind of slowly um, and then uh, move in a little bit later after the holidays and all that is over but yeah the poor puppy um, I guess he ate a piece of steak over the uh, the weekend like two days ago about, apparently if you're curious how long it takes food to go through a husky's digestive system, the answer is roughly two weeks, I guess. Um, I'm not quite, I don't know, but it seems to move fairly slowly, because um, this happened on Thanksgiving, too, that he had eaten a, um, we'd given him a prime rib bone to chew on, and then a couple days later, he threw up. And at that time, it was, like, just bile, and he was miserable, and the poor thing. Uh, today, I guess he had some steak over the weekend, and, uh, yeah, same thing, but tonight it was after his full dinner, and so he just threw up all of his kibble all over the floor, and the bits of white bread that my father-in-law gives him as a snack. And the poor thing, he definitely deserved his greenie to freshen his breath and to cheer him up. Oh, yeah. Max. Good boy. As politely. Politely. He can hear you. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. But before I went to clean it up, because, you know, like, looking at and smelling vomit um, at the best of times can still make you feel nauseous, but when you're, you know, still kind of prone to a little bit of nausea, things have been easing up the last couple weeks. I'm 11 weeks today, um, so the, the nausea's been getting less and less over the last couple weeks. But I'm still, you know, not 100% a lot of times, especially when I'm hungry, but yeah, uh, I uh, prepared myself to clean it up by uh, asking my mother-in-law for some of her essential oils. She had some lemon oil that I put, like, here on my lip, but the reason I'm rubbing it now is because it kind of irritated me. I guess they say that stuff is really strong, um, and yeah, I just shaved my lip because, I, I don't know, my hair was getting dark, and instead of bothering with bleach, I just kind of shave it off. And so it feels really weird and, like, stubbly, but, um, I think it's kind of a little bit irritated by that. Um, and then the lemon on top of it with, like, the acidity and just the strong essential oils. Um, it definitely worked. Like, everything smells like lemon now, but also my lip is a little bit sore and tingly, so I tried to rinse that off a little bit, but it's still, I don't know, <laughs> it's fine. I like the smell of lemon at least, and my lip was already kind of feeling weird. Anyway, it's the end of another day, and one thing that pregnancy has taught me is how to relax at the end of the day. Um, I tend to start feeling tired a couple hours sooner than usual, um, you know, if not several hours more. Um, like, this last weekend I took three or four naps, depending on your reckoning. Um, no, two or three naps. Three naps, uh, depending on your reckoning. Anyway, on Saturday. And two naps on Sunday, or a nap and a half, I don't know. Um, and then got back you know, to bed on Sunday at like 9.30. But then I woke up at 1.30 to pee and couldn't fall back asleep. But I still got like a full night's sleep, I think. Um, more or less. Anyway, I shouldn't be tired. Um, but... The benefit has been just that I um, I didn't really get into the uh, fatigue in the afternoon that I uh, complained about in Thursday's video that has gone up. Um, when you're seeing this, Thursday's video is about how emotionally draining and hormonally uh, exhausting pregnancy has been um, and how that sort of affects my productivity levels. Um, Anyway, so I'm just kind of leaning into it and enjoying myself. Um, it is about 9.30 right now, and I'm not, like, about to fall asleep or anything, but um, my phone battery's almost dead, so I've got it plugged in here. And I'm uh, finally watching season two of The Crown. It's only been out for three days, and I haven't watched it at all because I was watching something else. Um, so that's good. I think I'm on episode five. 
so I'm not going to finish it tonight, but I might finish it tomorrow. Um, and it's pretty good so far. If you haven't watched that show, I really enjoy it. Um, and yeah, just kind of chilling, filming a bit of a vlog for you guys. How meta. Um, that sound is the dog who wants to get in, so I'll wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching, following me around today. This is sort of a pregnancy day in the life thing, um, but you know, I'm not, like, it doesn't affect my life too badly, just in sort of my um, energy levels, and obviously today was pretty exciting with the ultrasound and all of that, so. Yeah, what did I say? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos three times a week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!